Hello, folks. Kind of a wet, chilly, dreary day in East Tennessee. My heart goes out to those in Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina. Uh, I hope all your loved ones are well. Today we're going to do just a... We're just going to play around today. We're going to have fun. And I'm going to bring you along for the ride. We're going to do QR codes. Yeah. Um, if you didn't already know, Inkscape has the ability to generate a QR code, and then we're going to use Inkscape with Ink Stitch plugin, and we're going to digitize and embroider QR codes. To get to the QR code generator, um, it is render barcode QR code. Okay, so once you have that loaded up, I think everything I've got on here is at default, I think. So I'm going to run with that. We're going to go HTTPS colon forward slash low tech Linux dot com. I'm going to hit apply. And there's my QR code. So I'm going to set that a little bit big. I want it to be. I want it to be about the size of something that it might put on a hat or a pocket. Now, what I'm wondering is, is that a path? It appears to be a path. Oh, check that out. Right there's my border. Oh, well, theoretically, I can delete that. And that oversized border goes away. Absolutely outstanding. Sure did. So I'm going to test this. I should be able to get. It should redirect me. Yep. Working like a charm. Let me grab that path. We're going to do a troubleshoot. See how many things are wrong with it right off the bat. Uh, border crosses itself. Break apart objects. Yeah, we can do that. So let's get rid of that troubleshoot. And let's do a ink stitch. Tools fill, break apart, fill objects. Keep it simple. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Some of my fill filled in. I gotta undo. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to fill. I'm gonna reselect that. We're gonna while we're on fill and stroke, right here, I'm going to select that so it respects my not fill. And then we're gonna try again. Uh, fill break apart fill objects. Let's try again. Did the same thing, so we're going to undo. Let's try again. And we'll select complex. Still did it. Let's try again. Try that break apart again. Go back to simple. And right here. Oh, that is actually the shape that we needed. Oh, well, that makes it interesting. Watch this. What happens if I select that to be white? I get my shape back. Oh, interesting. Okay, so now that we figured that out, I can use difference to cut those two out. We're we're good. We're good, we're good. Um, if you get something like that, try changing the color of one of them like I did and see if it's a over over the top black over the top of black thing. And if it is, use difference to cut it out and I'll show you that shortly. But for now, we're good. And what I want to do now is check the size. 
because I'm wanting, I don't necessarily want to put this on a hat, but I want to limit it to the size of if I put it on a hat, then I'm good. So, um, the default on the machine we have is 60 mils tall, and I'm a little bit over that, so I'm going to bring it down height wise. We're going to bring it down to, let's go with 50, and then we'll check and make sure that, which that's not going to work because, yeah. Because reasons, that's not going to work on my phone because I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller, I can make it bigger, I can, you know, you get it. Okay, so we're just going to go with that. We're going to make, we're going to run with that. So on this one, I need to take that. I need to select that. Like that. Select that. It's not going to work. Why is it not going to back? Select that and that. Okay. Difference. Sweet, it worked. Select that. And select that. Path. Difference. Alrighty. So now, if I select a black object, and I select edit, select same fill color, it should select everything. Outstanding. Outstanding. Now let's do a troubleshoot. Extensions, ink stitch, troubleshoot, troubleshoot objects. border crosses itself and that is Okay, I don't know how we're getting, how are we getting border crosses itself? I don't understand that. But, we shall try to run with it. We're going to go ahead and take just this object here. Extensions, ink stitch, fill, break apart, fill objects, hit apply. Close. We didn't get any more paths out of it. If I just select that one object and we do a troubleshoot, troubleshoot object, all shapes are valid. Now the entire piece should be good. Select the entire piece, ink stitch, tools fill, fill apart, no, sorry, extensions, ink stitch, troubleshoot, troubleshoot objects. Should be good now. Outstanding. We are good now. Extensions, ink stitch. Ink stitch. Let's do a simulator. See what it looks like in a simulation. This is before we do anything to it. Although we have done a lot to it just to get it to this point. And scoot way ahead. Play it out. Realistic. So because I don't know what I can and can and cannot get away with, what I'm going to do is, for the moment, I'm going to attach command trim on everything. Now we can visualize that.
So in that case, it creates a a nice stitch out for the most part. Now the question is, you know what? <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead. and duplicate. I'm going to drag that duplicate over. And on the duplicate, why is it giving me both of them? Undo. Undo duplicate. Let's see if we duplicate that. What it? Ah, darn it! What does it do? Now I should have two inside. Okay, I do. So ungroup that one. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to do this one. So give me a save. Give me a save as DST. Copy, paste. All right, we're going to see what it looks like. So here is my first sample it does work hope you can see this this is not easy to do there it went anyway it works now we're going to play around a little bit I'm going to do a slight adjustment on this. Get back down here. So we're going to do a little playing. And then we're going to stitch again. So I'm going to take each one of these. I'm going to take the whole thing. Go into ink stitch params. Change auto fill to contour fill for it to pop up there we go contour fill i'm gonna reduce spacing between rows just by go from 0.25 to 0.2 which is only just a little bit i'm gonna stitch that out and see what it looks like see if it still works too So we're going to file save as I'm going to change QR code one dot SVG file save as 
DST. A whole lot of stuff inside that little image, and it does take it a second, a few seconds to save. So don't think that your machine has locked up. It's just doing a lot of thinking. All right, I'll be back. The contour fill stitch out is done. The one inside the hoop is the contour fill. The one on the above it is the standard fill. I really can't tell much of a difference after switching the params of the contour fill to make it more dense. There's really not much more much of a difference. So if you're going to try the contour fill, don't make it more dense. You're just wasting your time. So from now on, when I'm going to do it, I'm just going to do the fill, the standard fill, with default params, and it turned out just fine. And it, and they both work. They I tried it; they both work. But uh, yeah, it works actually really good. Just had that little bit of a little bit of a problem with the break apart causing a break apart fail but as long as that break apart fail has the same size object same shaped object above it just do a difference cut it out and it then it worked fine but yeah that is creating a QR code in Inkscape and stitching it out with ink stitch um yeah one program does it all awesome anyway that is all for this one please like and subscribe make an old trucker happy until next video thanks for watching